$15 an hour. That, that to me is where, what we really need to be talking about. Um, my heart is saying I'm gonna allow you to ask your question, step up and ask your question, and that will be the last question. Hey, Mo, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to, I, I've, got to, I've, got to, I've got to leave. I, we had to stop at 7.15. Okay, so all right. Well, would, if you would write your question down, we'll get it to the candidates. You I'll as well. I'll stay. Get it to the candidates. You I'll as well. I'll stay and oh. listen to your question. If okay, you, you can if ask you after. Want to do you have time? Excuse do you want to make a closing statement Excuse real quick me. as you walk out? Excuse me. Before you leave, Mayor Reed. Before you leave. Okay, let's remember to be respectful of I everybody, asked, please. You was not going to let me ask my question. Oh, okay. So um, I'm asking him before you leave, okay? Before you leave. My name is Bertha. My husband is Robert Darden. We are the last homes, the last house, I put it like that, of the flood victims that you called us in 2013. And you came out in a wheelbarrow to address the flood victims, to assure us that we would not have to leave our homes, we would not have to move out of our homes, and we would not be displaced. Those are the words that came out of your mouth to me and my husband, 30 years retired citizen of the city of Atlanta. And you told us, point blank, you said, we would not have to move out of our homes. And I said, I'm going to hold you to that. I said, I'm going to hold you to that. I did just like I'm doing now. I said, I'm going to hold you to that. May I read? A few years later, we get letters saying, we want to buy your house. I said, buy the house? You just told us we didn't have to move out of our house. Tanya Washington house never flooded. But our house, basement flooded. And you said, we'll never have to move. And then, we get sued. The code inspectors come out trying to find fault to condemn our house, to force us, saying that if this is not done, this is not done, and that is not done, they're going to charge us $200 a day until it's done, or else within 30 days, you will be evicted under your administration. Now, Mary. I trusted you. I voted for you when you was mayor. And then for your administrations to come in our community to force families out of their homes by using eminent domain. And then come to find out after we went to court, they withheld evidence that we could have used to resolve it, but then sent the documents after the city ruled in favor of taking our home, took a name off the deeds to our home. And here we are, seniors. Where are we going to live? Where are we going to stay? But you told us we didn't have to move out of our home. You was working on a short-term and long-term plan. That's what you told us. And then your engineers lied. Lied. They lied in court. They lied in court. Your engineers lied in court. Because we hired an engineer, 40 year experienced engineer, went through those documents, find the evidence under your administration. So, Cassine Reed, I want to know why you're trying to get back in office again? To lie some more? To lie some more? Because we have heard all the lies we can from you and your administration. And it's not right. And it's not right. Thank and you. it's not right. And like I told yes. you before, when in this case, it's going to be divine exposure for you. And my question is, what you going to do now? What I'm going to do is uh, apologize to you from my heart. I made the best decision that I could make at the time because we were worried about severe weather events killing people. That was the best information that we had at the time. We made the best judgment based upon the information that we were receiving regarding flooding. And that's what I was trying to do. So I want to apologize to you, and I hope that if I am ever in position as mayor again, um, that I will be able to um, treat you and your husband fairly and better than we did. But I apologize to you and your husband tonight. And what you just shared um, has affected me deeply, and I, I hope that we will be able to make it better. Thank you, Mrs. Darden, for that question. And I felt it would be a, thank you for the answer. And I think it's appropriate to...